Hi, my name is Sophia Kolodzinski and I'm news director for World TV. Today I'm here with the president of Turn Up Turn Out, Taya Jairon, to talk to her a little bit about voter registration here at the University of Michigan leading up to the voter registration deadline tomorrow. So Tara, tell me a little bit about what sparked your interest in this initiative? We recently covered Turn Up Turn Out at Festival, spoke to two of your colleagues, and I want to just hear a little bit about what gave you the kind of drive and motivation to get involved with Turn Up Turn Out as the president of the org. Of course. So um, Dr. Goldenberg, who started the initiative and who's my mentor right now, uh, kind of came to a group of students two years ago and asked what we thought about the low student voter turnout in the midterms. Um, and I was pretty surprised by the numbers just because I knew all of my friends and everyone that I knew was super engaged in the political process. Right, so I was really interested in where the disconnect lied between uh, getting people out to the polls and getting people engaged and involved in the process when they already were so politically involved, as a lot of students are in college. So that's kind of what interested in me, and now I've just had a great time getting to know other student organizations and seeing why voting matters to everyone. So going off of that point, kind of pivoting to other student organizations, I think students all over campus are seeing just this huge outpouring of you need to register to vote, you need to mm -hmm. register to vote, but the problem is there are so many different organizations and where do they go, who do they register with, and then once they register, what are, what are the next steps? And so I would love to kind of ask you how TUT differentiates itself from other organizations, if you're all kind of competing with each other for the most signatures, the most registrations, and also you are very much involved with, uh, with the Big Ten Voting Challenge, so incorporating that into the general scheme of University of Michigan voter registration. Yeah, of course. So TUT uh, actually really loves that all of these student organizations are really working to get their membership involved. And what right. we've tried to do specifically as a student organization is tailor uh, what we call a 90% pledge, yes. um, which is kind of a pledge to get 90% of your membership registered to vote, tailor those to different student organizations so that we can use existing infrastructure to really um, incentivize people to get out and vote. Uh, so we actually don't try and differentiate ourselves, we try and integrate ourselves with other organizations. We've worked a lot with the Ginsburg Center, a lot with student governments on campus, um, and some of the larger student organizations to try and get the word out and also find issues that their membership is really interested in um, to kind of spark and engage more conversations and engage more like civic engagement, hopefully getting people out to the polls. Uh, and also we work a lot with the Big Ten Voting Challenge by um, kind of consulting with different uh, colleges across campus and talking about how we can mobilize voter registration efforts so that we can win the Big Ten Voting Challenge. Okay. For those of you people who don't know, it's um, a challenge that Schlissel issued to all of the Big Ten schools, um, basically trying to see who could get their voter registration up the most in the upcoming midterms. Uh, and we're looking pretty good so far, so hopefully we win it. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really, really amazing. And so another important aspect of Turn Up Turn Out is the goals that the, the organization itself has leading up to the voter registration deadline that is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, and then of course the midterms are just short, we're just short a month. So that's really, really crazy, really, really exciting. Um, what is Tut doing now within kind of this final sprint? Yeah, definitely. So we've had a lot of tabling uh, over the last week, especially for National Voter Registration Week. Um, we've tried to go to a lot of different student organizations, try to go to a lot of their different meetings, uh, get students in classes, get students um, while they're like walking to classes, just kind of everywhere we possibly can. Uh, and then going forward, we're going to do kind of more of a voter information push to make sure that students know what they're voting for in the election and who, and get infor like information on the candidates and the issues that they're really engaged on. Uh, one of the biggest um, hurdles that we have to overcome in the upcoming midterm for Ann Arbor specifically are the different polling locations that we have now that the union right. is closed down. So we're starting initiatives like parties at the polls um, and we're working with CSG to have this busing, busing initiative to try and make it a little bit easier for students to get out to their polling locations. Tell me a little bit more about parties at the polls. I think that that will really incentivize students to get out and register to vote. Yeah, of course. So we're working with a bunch of different student organizations and colleges and uh, larger organizations across Michigan's campus to kind of have little events near polling locations. Um, to get students to know that where the polling locations are and also hopefully incentivize some students who may be on the fence about voting to come out and join their fellow colleagues and vote, basically. That's really awesome. And yeah. so because tomorrow is the last day that everyone can register and, again, four short weeks, what is Tut's major goal after the midterms? 
So the major goal after the midterms is definitely this voter information push, um, getting student orgs to make sure that their students know when election day is and make sure that they get their students to know what they're going to do on election day, who they're going to vote for, right. make sure that they have plans on how they're going to get to the polls, make sure that they budget time out in their day. It's unfortunately not a holiday in the U.S., so um, we do have to like make sure that they schedule out a little bit of time to go to the polls and vote. So that's what we're working towards is just making sure that information is out there and accessible to everyone. And so what would you tell the average voter that, say, you were telling me earlier, yeah. lives in South Quad, has to go all the way to the Coliseum? Mm -hmm. That's really far because the union doesn't exist anymore as a polling location. So what would you say is the best advice to give to that average student on campus that maybe wants to vote but can't really carve out that 30 minutes to an hour to stand on the line? Yeah, of course. Um, I would say to make a plan. So I think it's really difficult. I know every student is really busy on campus, but I think it's worth it to go out and do carve that 30 minutes out, 40 minutes out to get down all the way there and vote. Um, the preparation it takes to vote is actually not that much. Uh, it's you don't have to vote for every initiative on the ballot you don't right. have to vote for every candidacy right. you can just vote for the ones that you're really interested in if you want so you don't even have to do any research beforehand so in terms of your duty to vote I think 30 to 40 minutes on one day is like not way too much to ask for and hopefully if you plan far enough in advance um, you can make sure that there's time for that in your schedule I know a lot right. of professors are also very willing to an understanding of you if you decide to take some time off of class to go and vote too. So. A lot of my professors have even said leave early, yeah, go, do what you need to do and I think that's awesome Which that the great. school I is trumpeting that civic advocacy and that civic duty is yeah, really definitely. important. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to thank Tara so much for coming onto the show today talking about Michigan voting registration and the importance of getting out the vote and the importance of voting on November 6th. So thank you so much. Thank you.